I have some exciting news. Desmos just released a three-dimensional graphing calculator. To access the calculator, simply go to desmos.com forward slash 3D. And here's a link to the blog post about the release. Let's explore some three-dimensional graphs. Actually, let's begin by plotting points in three dimensions. Notice in blue we have the order triple L comma L comma absolute value of L, where L are the values in the list above from negative four to positive four in increments of 0 0.5. And there's one red point with the order triple two comma negative three comma four. By default, we're looking down on the XY plane. We can click hold and rotate the three dimensional graphing surface. If we click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner, we can reverse the contrast. We can also make transparent surfaces, but here we only have points. By default, the axes are from negative five to positive five in all directions. If you click on the arrow here, you can change the scaling on each axis. If we disable zooming, the plus and minus buttons appear on the right and we can zoom in and zoom out. Closing this menu, again here we can zoom out and zoom in. You'll also notice in the lower left hand corner for now, you can access a quest which is a task performed using the 3D graphing calculator as well as read the blog. Currently, there are five quests available. And now let's look at some surfaces. Here we have the graph of z equals ax squared plus by squared where we have sliders for a and b. The graph is dynamic, we can rotate the surface around, and we can also change the values of A and B and see how it affects the surface. And again, by clicking on the wrench, we can reverse the contrast. We can make the surface translucent or transparent. We can change the scaling on the axes here. If we click disable zooming, we can then zoom in and zoom out on the right. Next we have f of x equals the square root of x plus sine ax. This equation is in two variables, x and y, and therefore we do have an option to extend to 3D. In blue we have the graph in the xy plane. If we click on the extend to 3D, we have the three dimensional graph where z can be any value and the gray surface is y squared plus c squared equals the square of f of x, where we have a slider for a from f of x. So as you can see, this is a very nice and easy to use three-dimensional graphing calculator. Let's look at one more. Here we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus sine four x plus sine four y plus sine four z equals a. And again, we have a slider for the value of a. I've already set it to zoom in and zoom out. Again, we can reverse the contrast and so on from the toolbar. The three-dimensional graphing calculator is definitely worth exploring.